Okay, so we've learned about the theory of feedback, so let's try and learn by doing an example. So the first step in doing feedback analysis is to try and analyze what type of feedback it is. Now, we see here with this amplifier that in the input path, we can go through either the feedback network or through the amplifier path to complete the circuit. In other words, you're trying to go from a ground to another ground. At the output, we can see the same thing. We can either go through the feedback path or we can go through our amplifier circuit to get to ground. So this type of feedback, because we can go through either uh, feedback or amplifier path at both the input and output is a shunt shunt feedback. Now shunt shunt feedback is current at the input, voltage at the output, or a trans resistance amplifier. So our first step when we start doing feedback analysis is that we need to find the correct parameters in order to find beta and to find the feedback loading effects. So the parameters that we use for trans resistance amplifiers are Y parameters. Our feedback network is as follows. This is port 2, this is port 1. Beta is, in this case, I1 over V2 when V1 is equal to 0. In other words, this is the current that comes out of port 1 due to a voltage at port 2 when port 1 is short-circuited. So to find beta, we'd short circuit port 1 and put a test voltage at port 2. If we solve this, we find that beta is equal to 1 divided by RF. Similarly, we need to find the feedback loading. So we need to find parameters Y11, which is equal to I1 over V1 when V2 is equal to 0. So in this case, we're going to short V2, put a test voltage in to V1, and find the result. And if we did this, we would find that Y11 was equal to 1 over RF as well. We also need to find Y22, which is equal to I2 over V2 when V1 is equal to a short circuit. Here we're going to short V1 and we're going to put a test voltage at V2. And if we do this, we would find that this was equal to 1 over RF in parallel with RE. Now, in order to find the open loop gain, we're going to take our original circuit and we're going to place 1 over Y11 at the input and 1 over Y22 at the output and we're just going to use inspection analysis. If we use inspection analysis on this circuit, we would find that the total gain we're going to call this little a sub r to denote that it should be in terms of a resistance. The total gain of this circuit, where we put a current in at the input and measure a voltage at the output, is equal to r pi 1 in parallel with rf times gm1 times rc times the gain of the output stage which is approximately one since it is a common collector amplifier. 
note that the units of this, since it is a trans-resistance amplifier, must be in terms of resistance. And indeed, if we look at the units of the gain expression here, this is in terms of resistance. Now, if we wanted to find the effect of the feedback on the closed loop circuit, we know that the closed loop gain is equal to the open loop gain divided by one plus the open loop gain times beta. And this is approximately equal to one over beta if the open loop gain is large. Of course, we found beta in a prior step. Now that we know the open loop gain and beta, we also can figure out what the effects of the impedance are, uh, what the effects are on the impedances. The input impedance is shunt, and that means that the input impedance after feedback is equal to the input impedance before feedback divided by one plus AR times beta. The output type of feedback was shunt as well, so this is equal to the output impedance before feedback divided by one plus AR times beta. And of course, if we were talking about our 3 dB bandwidth, the bandwidth after feedback is equal to the bandwidth before feedback times one plus AR times beta. If we were to solve a different example, we would do the exact same steps. We would just have to figure out what type of feedback uh, we were looking at, and then choose the correct set of network parameters in order to do the analysis, and then we just crank through the algebra step by step.